What's going on guys? It's been a while. Let's see if I even remember how to do this. Now, of course, we're not going riding, unfortunately. When I went to get the knee surgery, they said six to nine months. I'm just sitting in a parking lot. So, no seatbelt yet. Um, so they said six to nine months, it's been three months. So if we do some quick math, that's gonna tell us that either three to six more months of this knee rehab. Hopefully more on the three side, but yeah, not going riding quite yet. So obviously the next logical question is, well then Dio, what the hell are you doing? Which is a great question. So if you guys recall my last ride before getting the ACL surgery, um, I was finally playing around with the clicker sum on Yeti suspension. Um, as you remember, I went to Applied Technology Suspension, a race tech um, certified technician service center, whatever. And um, Tyler dialed me in with the gold valves, um, the correct spring rate. We actually only changed the shock spring because the front fork springs I had already changed out. Anyway, um, got me all set up on that and it was a, a billion times better. I've said since then, um, the first mod I'm gonna do to any bike moving forward is take it to applied. Like, it was shocking how, how much better it was. But um, get that, get that handled. So we did that and things were awesome. But then I started to think, you know, I need to play with the clickers. I went through the arena crosses. I went down to New Mexico. I rode Thunder Valley. I rode Aztec. I rode everything and I never touched a single clicker. So finally last time it was like, all right, I need to actually, you know, mess with these some. So I started messing with the rebound. I wanted a faster rebound because when I was going into the chop, I felt like the front was just a little too harsh. So I wanted it to rebound faster so the front tire would drop down lower into the next bump so that the suspension was higher up in the plush. So the suspension drops, you know, you hit a bump, it compresses. As you go over the bump, it opens back up. So I wanted it to open back up faster so I was in that initial plush area when I hit the next bump. Hopefully that all makes sense. So um, got that dialed, but now I am two clicks away from being completely maxed out on, I guess I'd be, yeah, speeding the rebound up. So Tyler didn't want me that far in the range. So he's gonna change some stuff internally so that the current setting I'm at, I'm more in the middle of the range so I can adjust it further each way. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna get the suspension internals just um, set up a little bit different for um, how, how I like it set up and then we're gonna head down to my parents' place and start on the top end. But that's what's going on today. So I'm gonna grab some drinks here and then we have like half an hour drive down to Tyler's place. But gonna be good and when I am finally back on the bike, Yeti is going to be fresh to death. So I can't wait. I know a lot of people, especially in the moto industry, like to be conspiracy theorists and not do this stuff. Just wear a damn mask. It doesn't hurt you. Just put the mask on, even if you don't believe it's doing anything. Whatever your personal beliefs and feelings are, don't be a pain in the ass. Just put on your mask when you go into a store. It's not a big deal. My man Tyler likes his Red Bull, so we're getting him some regular Red Bulls and got ourselves some too, of course. Now you're good, I'll probably have music over this and stuff. But. <laughs> Business is good here at the Applied Shop. You got, you got Yeti here, Tyler's working on the suspension now, but you got my buddy Cole, one of my uh, subscribers and Patreon supporters. I know he's getting a top end, it doesn't look like. Tyler's cracked into it yet, but he's getting his top end and uh, linkage set up. So got that going on. Nice clean air filter. Good job, Cole. But Tyler's bike, his wife Stephanie's, and then just some other bikes going on. This is actually Oni's old 140. Tyler bought it. But if you remember, this is the one I rode around Aztec and, you know, like hit the finish line and stuff on. But Tyler got it because there's some pretty sick pit bike stuff around here. So 
he's getting like 85 forks for it and stuff so that thing's gonna be pretty trick but getting everything handled so he pulled off my forks and uh he's in his his work trailer right now gonna hook up the valving that's another thing i talked about it last time but when you're working with a local race tech suspension shop that you can find one that's going to work with you so you go out on the track and you know your forks or your shock feel a little bit off there's something you'd like to change uh find someone who's going to work with you not where you have to pull everything off ship it off to california tell them how it feels them do whatever send it back to you put it on the bike you know it's going to be a super downtime for you uh, when you find someone local like tyler here with applied or any of the race tech uh, service centers they can they can work with you so you can just take it in person they can pull it apart make their changes go out and test at the track with you so that's super nice when you can come here and actually work hand in hand with someone to get the settings that you want and need There you go, and Tyler with Applied, they have some new uh, fork stickers, so we asked to get those put on, so we got some clear ones with the A shining through, looks super good, but uh, can't wait. Already couldn't wait to ride, but with some new settings in there, it's uh, making it even harder to be waiting on this knee. I'm in a race against this train, and I think I'm gonna lose, and I don't wanna go ripping down these dirt roads too awfully fast, but that train is coming along. Just went behind the hill, but I'm gonna get there like right when the engine gets there. That's okay though. But <laughs> finishing up with uh, Applied and Tyler, so fun hanging out and talking to him. He's so extremely knowledgeable about suspension and he enjoys talking about it. Just, you learn so much just hanging out with the suspension guy and um, he made those changes. So I'm so excited to get back on the bike and be back into the middle. Yep, the train is crossing the road we're going on right now. All right, so. We'll have a moment to sit and wait but um it's just it's fun hanging out with tyler and then just talking about suspension and bench racing and that kind of stuff so very enjoyable but cannot wait to get back on the bike with the new changes and have that setting more back into the middle instead of almost all the way maxed out so definitely looking forward to that but now we're going to uh rip down to my parents and get started on the top end but i think that's going to be um a different video so cut it off here but thanks again to tyler race tech applied suspension um, if you guys are interested in getting your suspension done which after i did this i can't imagine why i waited so long but hit up chris at racetech.com that's chris reisenberg i'm sure you've heard of him reisenberg uh, sorry if i mis mispronounced that chris but he's been on pulp and everything i'm sure you guys have heard of him shoot him an email tell him you saw my videos and uh he'll get you hooked up with with your local race tech suspension center and get you dialed in so that's gonna do it we're gonna be waiting for this train but as always guys until next time take it easy if it's easy take it twice talk to you later